It has been an emotionally charged case that made national and international headlines. And I'm Jennifer Jordan. The convention program kicks off tomorrow afternoon and Fox 8 News will have you covered every day until Donald Trump officially accepts the Republican nomination for president Thursday night. We even spoke to one parent who says she didn't start walking her daughter to school until recently. Greater police presence and better parenting, many say, will help to stop the violence. Until then, these parents say they'll protect their kids the best way they know how. Welcome back to Fox 8 News at 6 o'clock. The weather. People want to know what the weather will be like with thousands of people. Mm -hmm in our city. For the most part, it's going to be nice for them, right? It will be nice. We do have three days where we'll see lots of sunshine right. and temperatures uh, nice. Here, Fox H Jennifer Jordan is on the convention floor right now with more on what we can expect with those speeches tonight. Jennifer. Tracy, make America work again. That is the theme for day two, but given the list of speakers set to hit the stage in just a short time from now, the theme should be family affair. And by the way, don't expect to see any big time celebrities like Vin Diesel or Tyrese Gibson. They will be shooting at other locations. This is considered to be a secondary shoot, which means a lot of stunt doubles will be in town. It took a month of crews working around the clock, but tonight everything is in place for the Republican National Convention. For Fox 8 News at 6, I'm Bill Shear. And I'm Jennifer Jordan. The convention officially starts on Monday, but before Donald Trump can accept his party's nomination, he had to pick a running mate. This is also crunch time for both delegates and organizers. Fox 8's Allison Brown is live from Jacobs Pavilion now where preps are underway for an event tonight. Hey, Allison. This city is going to be rocking in more ways than one this week, Allison. Oh, you are absolutely <laughs> right, Jennifer, and you could not ask for a better night to have a party. Okay. <laughs> Allison Brown live for us at Jacobs Pavilion. Thank you, Allison. The Convention of the Oppressed is raising their voices and taking to the streets to ensure their message is heard. Fox 8's Lori Taylor live now downtown with that part of the story. Lori. And stay with Fox 8 for all you need to know about the RNC. You will find everything from road closures to protest routes and schedules. It's all on Fox8.com. Meantime, a group offering prayers today for the safety of police officers during the upcoming convention. Before the Republicans take over Northeast Ohio, the Democrats held one last event. Hillary Clinton's campaign spent the afternoon hunting for two things, votes and Pokemon. Very nice, Jen. Thank you. You're welcome. And still ahead tonight, a college student didn't have anywhere else to go. Plus, the truth is still out there. See what NASA caught on camera and why some think it's proof that aliens really exist. Turkey's government survived the attempted coup, but at least 160 people were killed and hundreds more injured. And back here stateside, Donald Trump formally introduced Mike Pence as his running mate today. Pence served two terms in Congress before he was elected governor of Indiana. But first, another deadly attack on law enforcement, this time in Baton Rouge, where three police officers are dead and three others injured tonight. What it means for police patrols here in Cleveland during the convention. And here is them to the special RNC edition of Fox A News at 6. I'm Bill Shue. And I'm Jennifer Jordan. The convention program kicks off tomorrow afternoon. And Fox 8 News will have you covered every day until Donald Trump officially accepts the Republican nomination for president Thursday night. And we have live team coverage all over Cleveland tonight. Republican delegates from across the country and media from around the world have descended on the North Coast for this historic event. Okay, among the first of many protests, I'm sure, LT. Yeah. Okay. Live for us in Cleveland tonight. Thank you. Three Baton Rouge police officers were killed and three others wounded during an attack this morning. Shot fired. Officer down. Shot fired. Officer down. Got a city officer down. Shot fired. Gunshots rang out near a gas station, which is less than a mile from police headquarters. At least six officers were shot. Police returned fire, killing one gunman and containing the scene.
No. The demonstrators are starting to thin out, but they plan to march to the free stamp downtown to make their final appeal. Again, that free stamp along Lakeside Avenue. Again, these are live pictures of a protest happening right now. This group identifying themselves as Dump Trump. That's the name of the organization who is down there right now. Live pictures. You can see the crowd is small right now and appears to be thinning out. We, of course, will remain here on the scene to give you updates on how large or when this crowd will disperse. Well, again, this morning's brutal attack in Baton Rouge sent shock waves through the Sea of Blue, which has assembled here in Cleveland to keep the peace during the RNC. The head of the police union is asking for a ban on open carry during the RNC. Union President Steve Loomis is urging Ohio Governor John Kasich to issue a temporary change to the Buckeye State's open carry policy. The week-long ban would only cover Cuyahoga County. Loomis made the request shortly after the attack on police in Baton Rouge. Welcome back to Fox 8 News at 6 o'clock. The weather. People want to know what the weather will be like with thousands of people mm -hmm. in our city. For the most part, it's going to be nice for them, right? It will be nice. We do have three days where we'll see lots of sunshine right. and temperatures uh, nice. We have two hot days. Fox 8's Lori Taylor has been monitoring the situation downtown. She joins us now live. Lori, what are you seeing right now? Well, Bill and Jennifer, let me give you an idea of, uh, of where we are. A special oath gives them the authority to patrol during the convention. I solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Just over 300 officers, mostly from California, took their oath at Case Western Reserve University. They followed a slightly larger group from police departments around Ohio that took the oath at a separate ceremony Saturday morning. The goal of this event is to show the people can gather for reasons other than just to protest. People walked out onto the Hope Memorial Bridge to music, then held hands in silence for a full half hour. The location was also symbolic as the bridge connects the east and west sides of Cleveland. One participant, Mark Zust, telling us he and his wife had not marched since the Kent State shootings back in 1970, but they thought it was important to be here today. Back here in Ohio, the 107th annual NAACP convention is underway in Cincinnati. But as for his father's intro last night, Donald Trump entering the stage with smoke filling the air, music queen, we are the champions. He says that is just his father's style, and he says he wouldn't expect anything differently. <laughs> that Tracy, was Lou? It has been an emotionally charged case that made national and international headlines. A 12-year-old boy waving what appeared to be a real gun outside a local rec center shot and killed by police. Today, more than a year after that shooting, a grand jury deciding the officers involved will not be criminally charged. Again, this incident happening back on November 22nd, 2014. Cleveland police respond to reports of a man waving a gun. Cleveland police officer Frank Garner back was driving the police cruiser and stopped next to a gazebo. The officers claimed they ordered Tamir Rice to drop the weapon, which they later learned was an airsoft pistol that shot plastic BB pellets. Less than three seconds later, Officer Timothy Lohman fired the 12-year-old suffering from a gunshot wound to the stomach. He died at a local hospital the next day. County Prosecutor Tim McGinty announcing the grand jury's decision this afternoon. Yes, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of excitement. Chris Christie, Paul Ryan, we saw him on stage just a short time ago. He's going to be coming back as well. So lots of speakers it's expected to get underway around 7 o'clock tonight. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. While we don't know exactly who will be speaking, one thing's for sure, it will be a very interesting slate. Expect to see primary candidates Ben Carson, Mike Huckabee, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, and possibly even Texas Senator Ted Cruz. A few faces you won't see, the Bush family, former nominees Mitt Romney and John McCain.
You know, the city of Cleveland is used to seeing movie production crews on city streets, so it should not come as any surprise that when Fast 8, the latest installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, starts filming here in the city in just a couple of days, everyone should pack a little bit of patience. Now, the Greater Cleveland Film Commission saying several scenes for the movie will be shot in locations throughout Northeast Ohio. Fox 8 Jennifer Jordan joining us now with more on who will be taking the stage this evening. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Gabe. Now, along with politicians and celebrities, the Trump family has been center stage all week. It's a troubling trend that has parents and children on edge, innocent young children being caught in the crossfire with deadly consequences. Parents saying they have no other choice but to continue with their daily routine. However, safety and protection now at the forefront. On the North mm -hmm. Coast. A live picture now along East 4th Street from our Fox Cam at Pickwick and Frolic, where Republican delegates and en are enjoying some of Cleveland's best restaurants. Right. And the company's main product is only fueling the fire. The Bounds Hay Company in Oregon has been reduced to these burning bundles. It's unclear how the fire started, but dry, windy conditions helped the flames spread to several surrounding buildings. Firefighters have been battling the blaze all weekend. It has already destroyed almost $2 million of hay. A convention left this week. Very good news there, Dave. And an update we want to bring to you right now. That Stop Trump protest that was taking place downtown that Lori Taylor brought us. We were told that the crowd has dispersed. They're expected to gather once again tomorrow. tomorrow. Also speaking tonight, RNC Chairman Reince Priebus and Evangelical Leader and President of Liberty University Jerry Falwell Jr. Now Trump's advisor says his address will be the opening salvo for the general election debate. He'll touch on issues including national security, the economy, as well as social issues. Natalie and Gabe, so everybody anticipating a very exciting night here inside the queue. The final night, of course. Back to you.